Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. Today I'm just sharing a quick little haul of all of these beautiful goodies from Bookbinders Design here in Melbourne. I actually got to go into the store which was beautiful. Uh, I've been a few times but it's always lovely. I'd previously got an online order with this MD notebook diary so this is the A6 one day one page. And it has this layout inside. It's just a square bracket here for the date, some dots here at the top for hours one through seven or using it for a focus or whatever. And then eight through 24. I'm gonna ignore all of that, but I like to have it there um, and use this as a collage journal. So I've already got an unboxing of this on my channel, but I just thought I'd show you today. I've also got these stickers for each month of the year. And that was also in my previous video. But these are the new things that I picked up. And I did this because I need to fill all of my Hobonichi covers. I have Hobonichi books, but I also wanted to have Midori books as well for certain things. So I got two here of the A6 grid notebook. Uh, I'll open one of those to show you. So the notebooks come with this little band and underneath that also is this uh, kind of glassine paper as well to protect the cover. And I'll just show you that cover. So I do love this beautiful minimal look, just the MD paper made in Japan stamped there. And it has the tape binding here and our little bookmark, which in this case is a black one, as you can see. And I'll just show you that this is a square grid. It's a five millimeter grid, so a little bit bigger than I'm used to in the 3.7 in the Hobonichi, but it's okay. I have a plan for this book and I'll go through all that once I set up all my covers, but I just wanted to show you what this looks like. Um, it has, uh, the square has no cap on it. If you can see that there's a little gap between the top of that square and the start of the next one. And that is meant to be for Japanese writing. So it's just an extra little feature there. We've got a dot at the top for the middle, top and bottom to line the middle up. And then also here we can have this broken into sections here as well with these two dots. So that's the Midori A6 notebook. And as I said, I have two of those. I also got a blank version. And this is going to be my creative journal next year. Oh, I should mention this as well. So these stickers come with the journal and the, um, the idea is that you can use this, these skinnier ones to hold that bookmark in if you wanted to. Um, it doesn't have to, I've done it. I've used them for years without ever sticking that down. And it also has a, uh, from the library of kind of card here as well. So you get one of those with every book. And this is the blank one. Again, just a beautiful minimal design. And this book is completely blank. And it's that beautiful cream colored paper that we can expect from Midori. This one has a, a red a bookmark and my um, one day one page diary had a red and an orange. So these of course lay, lay pretty flat um they're great they're really great books beautiful minimal lovely books uh so then the last book that i got was the md b6 slim and i got this one in lined so i've never had lined before and i didn't really want lined i wanted um square or dot grid but they didn't have any and i really just wanted to get my lineup sorted so i went with it this is going to be for work. So again, I don't really mind that it's lined. I wanted to use this for notes for work. So this is all I will take with me to meetings and leave my diary back at my desk. So this has lined pages. As you can see, it's a very, very dark blue line. I don't think it's black. And you can see it's separated into halves as well with that darker line. So you could use this for four separate days if you wanted to. However, my days will go over multiple pages. I take a lot of notes at work because I'm in a lot of meetings, which is awesome for me. <laughs> but it is good to have um, something fairly affordable, but also something that I like to use because it's beautiful paper and I just love it. So that's what I'll be using for my work notes. And I got myself a notebook cover for it. And I do have a plan to 
pop something under the cover. So let's just fit it. Um, if you've seen my channel before, you may have seen that I have a B6 Slim notebook from Midori already, but I put that one in the paper cover. It's my Ra Magic Rainbow Happiness Journal, so it's quite the opposite to what this will be. Very over the top and maximal, uh, whereas this one is going to be quite minimal. It's just me writing notes for work, so nothing much to it. Oh, this one has a blue ribbon, I didn't realise beautiful that's very nice and yeah the clear cover just protects the whole thing uh, it will allow it to chunk up a little bit if it needs to it won't really all I'm doing is writing in here um, but as I said I do want to put something on the cover inside the cover but it would be just as nice to have it completely blank like that maybe just put your name on it or um, some minimal sticker or something would be cool so that's that one and then lastly in the books I got another sticker release paper book from the Traveller's Company. I've got roughly a thousand of these. No, I'm kidding. I think I've got about six maybe. And I, I have recently moved all my stickers into these sticker release books uh, with the exception of some that wouldn't fit. So I needed to get a new one. So um, I will try to remember to link that video if you'd like to see where I walk you through the eight hours of work it took me to fill um, all of these books with my uh, sticker collection. Okay, so that's the books from Midori that I'm adding to my lineup for next year. It's a lot of books, you may say, but I have a lot of plans. So that's that. But the other two things I got from the shop, one is this gorgeous little Dodo Toucan charm. It's a charm for, ch for chance and luck. Uh, here are some details on the back. It's in uh, French, of course, entirely handcrafted in Paris, France, and the website is dodotoucan.com. But you can get these at Bookbinders Design. And uh, they had a bowl of them, all the different colors for all the different uh, charms that you, you might be looking for. And they were so cute. I just had to have one. It's just beautiful. Look at this little guy. There's lovely little deco around it. It's ceramic and just a little cute little guide to keep your company on your desk. And you can use it as a charm for luck. I thought it was gorgeous and I just had to have it in my little collection. It's going to sit on my desk. Okay, last thing I got was a, another um, Shashihata ink. Uh, this one, uh, I think it's the dark grey or else it's black. Let's see if we can translate that, hey? Silver. So this is a silver ink. Cool, that's that's what I wanted, like a grayish silver. Uh, the other color that I have is this brown one. So I thought what we could do today is just take a look at these two. I grabbed my uh, little creative journal here and thought we could just pop some swatches on a page. And I have this stamp here from Black Milk Project, which I got at Bookbinders Designs as well. So I thought this would be the perfect one to stamp. Okay, there we go. Hope we can get a good look at that colour there. I actually have a stamp cleaner eraser here. So I'm going to use it on this stamp. It just pulls off any ink that's stuck in those grooves. And then you can use it again quite easily without it being wet, which I really like. So I'll try the brown one as well with the same stamp. better. The first one I didn't quite um, get enough ink on the on the stamp. Okay so there you go there's the top one is a silver color and the bottom is a brown. They are really nice colors and let's see I haven't ever checked the bleed through. 
So yeah, we've got a little bit of bleed through. Actually, it's come onto this page as well. So it'd be good to put a piece of paper under there if you were gonna use this in your Tomorrow River Paper journals. But that's okay, I don't mind that. This is my creative journal, so I tend to glue stuff in here anyway. It's very heavily full of stuff. So no problem to me that it's a bit um, bleedy, that's fine. So that's it really. That's my little collection of things from Bookbinders Design. It was so great to actually go in store um, and see everything in person. It's all such so beautiful, such a beautiful shop. I love it so much. So yeah, I'll be setting these up very, very soon. I'm probably going to do the work one first. For some reason, I'm just fascinated by setting up the work one. I don't know why, but that's what I'll be doing first, I suspect. And then it'll be all the others. Just There's tons of books this year. And I think I've said in a video previously, uh, I'm doing that. This time I'm setting up books for the future. So it won't just be 2024 books. It will be books that I use throughout the coming years because I don't always fill a book. So that's why I've gone with a number of these that are undated. These are all undated. They're just books, notebooks. So... I got the stickers in case I wanted to date any of them, but I'll just put the months in and then I can add next year's stickers if the book keeps going past this year, which in some of them I know it will because I don't have enough to fill the entire year's worth, which is great. So it kind of just sets me up for the next couple of years. All right, that's it from me for this video. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this little walkthrough of my notebooks from Bookbinders Design. Let me know if you have any questions. Happy to answer any time. And I'll see you all super, super soon. Thanks, guys. Bye.